Hi, and welcome to the facelifted Kia Seed. Kia Seed is a compact car manufactured in Slovakia since 2006. It comes in three body types, a five-door hatchback, simply called Seed, a three-door hatchback called Pro Seed, and an estate called Sports Wagon. All three come in standard trim and GT line trim. The hatchbacks are also available in a sporty GT version. GT line comes to the Seed range as part of the second generation facelift. Other changes include, among others, better interior quality, better soundproofing, optional 7-speed double-clutch transmission, a 1-liter engine, and TomTom sat-nav. The hatchback has a 380-liter boot, like in a Volkswagen Golf. The estate boot is 528 liters, which is less than in a Golf variant. It's somewhere between Ford Focus and Seat Leon estates. Top and GT Line estates get things like a rail luggage arrangement system. There's plenty of legroom and headroom in the back. The floor in the middle is flat. In versions with power seats, the driver's seat slides back when the ignition is turned off to make exiting the car easier. The dashboard has been refreshed as well. There are chrome-like accents around the dials and air vents. There's a lot of storage. Everything you can see is soft to touch. However, storage under the armrest is made of hard plastic and things left inside can rattle. The glove box is air-conditioned. Kia went to great lengths to reduce noises and vibration. If you look close, there is some sort of foam visible over the wheel arch. One of the important updates is this 1.0-liter, 3-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. Let's see what it's like on the road. The new 1.0-liter TGDI engine is Kia's attempt at downsizing. Engineers focused on quick reaction to the throttle and efficiency. This version produces 120 horsepower and 171 newton meters of torque. Other engine options include petrol and diesel power plants, 1.4 and 1.6 liter, with power ranging from 100 to 204 horsepower, the latter reserved for the sporty GT models. The facelifted Kia Seed with a 1 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine is a really fun car to drive. Let's start with the engine. I didn't expect it to be uh, that uh, lively. It pulls down from low revs, uh, basically from about 1500 revs it pulls. It does have a bit of a problem when you're trying to uh, take off um, rather quickly. That's a problem that the uh, one liter EcoBoost Ford Focus also had. But uh, once you get it going, uh, it's uh, really smooth. You don't feel it's a three-cylinder engine. And uh, as long as you keep it below three and a half thousand revs, it's uh, relatively quiet. And you will keep it uh, below three thousand revs for most of the time, uh, because this is what the Eco Nani tells you. The Eco Nani tells you to shift up most of the time, and uh, the gearbox is uh, oh it's really pleasant really smooth it's got a short throw so you'll always find the right gear without any problems the suspension is on the uh, stiff side uh, this car is actually fun to drive uh, it's fun to throw around the corners at the same time the suspension is rather quiet uh, i'm going along some uh, bumpy roads right now and uh, I can hear mainly tire noise, but there's rather good damping and uh, there is no thumping noises coming from the suspension. Kia worked very hard to uh, make this car quiet, to make this car more refined, so uh, there is a lot of uh, sound insulation, sound proofing and until you go on a motorway this car is relatively quiet at motorway speeds there is some wind noise here around the a pillars so uh, on longer journeys you might find that annoying again i'm going through some uh, bumpy stretch of road right now and there is almost no noise from the suspension the car is well planted it's uh, holding its balance really really nicely Fuel consumption. It's possible to stay around 6 liters per 100 kilometers uh, outside the city uh, in extra urban cycle. 
the manufacturer promises for an extra urban but uh, let's be realistic here uh, if you go around the city uh, it will go up to about uh, seven seven and a bit depends on the traffic of course the steering uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's a fun car to drive I tell you uh, the steering again uh, is set set up more for um, sporty driving than for comfort there is a Kia flex steer something we know from other uh, Kia models so basically you switch between uh, comfort normal and dynamic or sports mode usually I can't tell the difference but here maybe it's a suspension setup or maybe finally Kia tweaked it just a bit um, to make it uh, feel this little bit sporty in uh, in sport mode so um, it's a, a really fun car to drive the only problem I have with this car is the sat nav the sat nav is um, it's not slow it's not unresponsive it's just that the directions it gives are mm, not very legible but don't worry because by the end of the year uh, Kia is replacing this unit with uh, TomTom SatNav so uh, that should be better this should uh, help with uh, any navigation problems during the launch event I also drove the 204 horsepower GT model and a 136 horsepower diesel compared to the 1 liter lawnmower engine the 200 horsepower engine comes as a bit of a disappointment. The small engine in a GT line car works tremendously well and the GT version is not that much better to inspire me. As far as the diesel goes, I noticed it used quite a lot more fuel than a more powerful Volkswagen engine. That was a couple of weeks before the emissions scandal erupted. Now I know why Kia uses more fuel and is less powerful. Kia didn't cheat in the emissions tests. Prices of the Kia Seed start at around 15,000 euros for a 5-door hatchback with a 100 horsepower 1.4 naturally aspirated engine. This GT Line sports wagon model with heated seats and LCD instrument cluster costs around 24 grand. I think Kia's 1 liter petrol engine is a great proposition, and if you think about buying a compact car, you want to give one of these a test drive. You also want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Rate, comment and share my videos, new episodes every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.